Well, the folks in Philadelphia are stuck as a foot and a half of snow has crippled the city. Snow is coming to an end, but those of you in Boston, you're just still getting started. Major ice is a problem. Yet. Let's start with the northeastern snow totals here. And uh, notice the heaviest of the snow, Terra Alta, West Virginia, that's in the northern part of the state. Also, southwest Pennsylvania, I believe one of the ski resorts reported 40. And we have an unconfirmed report over in Garrett County, Maryland, the western part of the state of 49 inches of snow. Columbia, a little bit southwest of Baltimore, about 27 inches. Officially, Philadelphia, 18 inches. You may get a little bit more in Philadelphia. And at JFK, we think you're going to pick up more in the way of snow, too, because the storm isn't quite over yet. Dr. John Neese, our storm analyst, let's head over that way to the expert desk. John, you've been following the storm closely, and it looks like the snow's not quite yet ready to give up in Philadelphia and New York City. Right, we're seeing some sort of back building of the snow, Rich. Uh, there was at one point a very sharply defined back edge to the snow, and that's how it went through D.C. and Baltimore. But uh, as low pressure develops a little bit stronger along the Virginia coast, we're seeing a little more convergence coming together of the surface there and maybe a little bit more lifting. But I don't think there's much more in the way of accumulation on the way for Philadelphia. Perhaps another couple inches in New York City. This is what we're looking at for total snowfall amount through Tuesday morning. Notice the large piece of real estate here in the deep purple, 12 inches or more. And we have many, many places in here that received in excess of 18 inches of snow from this storm. Most of the accumulating snow is over to the south of that line. It's to the north of that line where we continue to have problems near blizzard conditions in northern New Jersey and uh, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and much of Massachusetts developing. Let's take a look at the moving radar where we can see the back edge of the precipitation. For a time there, it looks like uh, you're getting some breaking up there in the New York City area, but then the white fills in with more snow, and we're seeing this uh, belt of heaviest snow orient itself now east to west from the Elmira and Ithaca areas through Binghamton into southeastern New York into Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Many of the reporting stations in those states are reporting moderate snow right now. Look at this heavy snow band across Connecticut right now, extending into southeastern New York. Two to three inches of snow per hour falling underneath this band. Most of Connecticut will end up with between 16 and 20 inches of snow. And this uh, system has a connection to the subtropics. Look at the feed on the water vapor imagery right into the storm. We've seen that connection to the subtropics ever since this storm came inland in California last week. This map shows snow totals through midnight. The pink you see here on the order of six to 12 additional inches of snow through midnight. And there will be additional snows on top of this in Connecticut and Massachusetts and Southern Maine, Southern New Hampshire, Southern Vermont tonight. Rich? All right, thank you.